Bonfires of indignity. Rage, as with any emotion, has its place and purpose, as long as it is not all-encompassing, blurring into a righteous passion which asserts authority, for which paintings must be burned, which offensive speakers censored, which narratives should be denounced as too troublesome before their creators have a chance to tell their tales. Art, defined by a litmus test, is rarely alive, abandoning the complexities which animate us for something more sterile, leaving only slogans proclaimed with a devotion which makes dictators of us all. Fourteen days later, she shakes her head and loosens her limbs, embracing the music's jagged rhythms, its abrasive chords and assertive yelps. The songs themselves have no direct connection to recent events, which have demanded every last ounce of courage in order to resist despondency. Too many have been consumed by hatred, hollowed out by bitterness. The singer offers a counterexample, fastening weaves of melodies onto a spirited acclamation, coaxing her bandmates, inciting an audience longing, whether consciously or not, for that cathartic release only music might provide. Okay. Um, when I started this last one, I didn't really imagine it as a follow-up sequel companion piece to What the Hell is Love, but it might be what I ended up with, so. Legacy. I don't wish to commemorate a plaster saint, properly poised and enshrined as a perfect example of infinite patience and compassion. Which is not to deny her those qualities. Her readiness to guide and support was obvious from the way in which she treated others. Yet, charity is not limitless. At times it fails. At times bitterness does overwhelm empathy. A reminder, after all, that we are merely human, laboring under unrealistic expectations. I wish to recall all her beauty, her charming quirks, the glow of her smile, the exuberance with which she could embrace life, eagerly devouring its pleasures, even the small moments of sharing Sunday morning's paper and breakfast. Not every experience, however, is going to be amazing or transcendent. Lasting beauty is not found in perfection but in the cracks. In the end, we were only a man and a woman who, despite being compatible in countless ways, still had to struggle with all the typical grievances, trivial and otherwise, petty or otherwise, which plague so many couplings. Regardless, she remains my dearest comrade. Thank you.